Hey everyone, uh, I'm Hunter from Green Top Sporting Goods and uh, what I wanted to do today was um, and kind of inform and explain to you some vital parts of the proposed House Bill 961 which is uh, got a vote upcoming here at the General Assembly. The bill will soon be heard and voted in on a, uh, in a committee hearing and then sent to the floor for a vote. Uh, what I'm going to discuss with you today is not the entire bill but a large portion that pertains to uh, firearm ownership. And what we want to do is we want to help and explain this bill to everyone by simplifying it and walking you through some important parts to be aware of um, and what will potentially happen if this bill will pass. Uh, I'll start off by just saying, hey, everybody knows what our Second Amendment rights are. I'll go ahead and point out that the uh, Virginia Constitution in Article 1, Section 13 states that the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So with that being said, um, let's look at HB 961 and um, I'm going to go over a few parts of this and uh, we're going to uh, kind of break it down for you. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about kind of three main talking points of the bill. Um, assault firearms, silencers, and then high capacity magazines. So to start off with assault firearms, what they've done is uh, they've kind of redefined and, and made the term assault firearm um, a more comprehensive uh, definition of, of, that, of that term. So this broad new definition of an assault firearm now includes not just rifles, but it also includes um, a number of handguns and shotguns. So to kind of give you some examples, uh, semi-automatic shotguns that have a folding, a collapsible stock, or a thumb hole stock, uh, they, will also, they will now be termed as an assault firearm and therefore be banned. Uh, semi-automatic pistols that um, have the ability to accept um, a magazine that attaches to the pistol grip um, of more than 10 rounds will also be classified as an assault firearm. Also handguns with threaded barrels. Anything with a threaded barrel will also be classified as an assault firearm. Part two of this would be silencers. So this bill will propose that uh, silencer ownership in Virginia will, will end. I mean, it, it doesn't grandfather it or anything. Um, basically, you won't be able to possess or own or purchase a silencer in the state of Virginia. Third part of this is high capacity magazines, what they call a large capacity firearm magazine. It states right here, it will be unlawful for any person to import, sell, transfer, manufacture, purchase, possess, or transport any large capacity firearm magazine that exceeds 10 rounds. And that goes for rifle magazines, it goes for handgun magazines. Okay, so what's that mean? What's, what happens if this bill gets passed? You know, um, let's, let's go back and let's recap the three things. Uh, assault firearm, silencer, and high capacity magazines. Well, let's start with the high capacity magazines and silencers. Uh, plain and simple, the way the bill states is you will not be able to own those. It clearly says that you cannot be in possession of them. And uh, the bill, if it gets passed, it will go into effect July 1, 2020, this year. If you have a, if already own an assault firearm by t July 1, 2020, uh, you will have to register that with the state police with what the bill states to be a $50 registration fee. And I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm assuming that is $50 per assault firearm. Um, and that's not just AR-15s, remember. This could be a number of different firearms which you may have in your collection. Um, it's, it's not just an AR-15 style rifle, this is potentially handguns, this is potentially shotguns. Um, so with all that being said, uh, this, is, this is a time for you to speak out and you need to contact your lawmakers um, if this pertains to you. If this doesn't pertain to you, uh, hey, you know, it's, 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 hopefully it's informative and it helps you out. Um, what this is, is uh, it's, it's, it's a direct infringement on the right to bear arms in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And in order to contact your lawmakers, look below at the link, click on that. It will take you to a web page that will get you to where you need to be to talk to, to communicate, whether call, email, do it in a courteous manner. You know, contact your lawmakers and, and use your voice. We just want to keep you informed here at Green Top. Um, any, uh, you know, any questions involving this bill, you can definitely go to the Bill Tracking 2020 General Assembly session and look, look this bill up. Again, it's HB 961. Contact your lawmakers.